right. Tick, 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 tick. Mm. The deadline to file your taxes quickly approaching in most states. Tax day is this Monday. That's right. The IRS reports the number of returns is down 1.4% compared to last year. The average refund also dropped $20 to just under $2,900. This means the IRS refunded more than $6 billion less this year. For more on this, we are joined by certified public accountant Dan Geltrude. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well. All Thank right. You. So, have you done your taxes, Dan? Uh, no, I have not, <laughs> but there's still time. Good financial <laughs> karma. So we know tax day is right around the corner. What should people do if they still have not filed? Well, all is not lost. There is still time because it's not due until Monday, right? But if you're not going to be able to make the deadline, you have the opportunity to file for an extension. Now, keep in mind that. That's an extension to file your tax return. That is not an extension to pay your taxes. All of your taxes must already be paid in, but you can get an additional six months simply to file your return. So you know what's going to happen. People are going to get that check back. They're going to be like, woohoo, let's go shopping. Mm -hmm. Give us some advice. What do you do? What do you, do you put it on your credit card bill? Do you break off a little bit of it for a nice fancy dinner? Well, you want to make sure that you have your refund working for you. Look, the cardinal sin of personal finance is credit card debt or high interest rate debt. When you're talking about 14 to 18 percent potentially of interest that you could be paying, if you get a lump sum refund, you should use that to get down that debt. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, is have an emergency fund. Look, right now the economy is strong, but a rainy day is coming. And when it comes, you want to make sure you have something set aside. I recommend six to nine months of a fund set aside. And then look, retirement is coming for everyone. So if you have the opportunity to have a refund, set something aside, contribute to your IRA. You have up to $6,000. If you're 50 and older, you can get another $1,000 additionally with tax benefit contributing to an IRA. Take advantage of it. It's not fun, but it's good. You got to eat your vegetables. You got to eat your vegetables. <laughs> yeah. But if you happen to be one of those folks who got a little bit less or even a lot less or had to pay more, what is the recommendation? Well, you know, the one thing that you want to do or not do is not pay your taxes. Look, if you get a tax bill, you got to figure out a way to pay that amount down. You do not want to be taking, shall we say, a loan from the IRS. It's not just expensive, it's potentially dangerous because you don't want the IRS coming around for an audit to find out why you are not paying your taxes on time. Hmm. So you want to make sure that you're always paying your tax bill. So we're dealing advice. with sort of like a whole new tax law and uh, you know so there might be some some tweaks some changes we've been talking about right. how the IRS has been giving back less money mm -hmm. it's not a ton uh, all added up it's a ton less but really you know for each individual person I think it might be $12 it's a small right. difference still it's early how should we what should we be doing to prepare for next tax season I think the most important thing to do is to make sure that you properly adjusted your withholdings. Look, at the end of the year or at the end of the tax year, the game is, is to be at a net zero. You're not getting a refund and you don't owe anything. And the only way to do that properly is to adjust your withholdings. You can do that now and make up for the first few months of the year if you haven't done it already and make sure that you get to the end of the year and it's a zero sum game. That's Sounds the good. way to do it. Right. No interest-free loans to the government. That's right. Exactly. Say that all the time. <laughs> Dan uh, Geltrude, thank you so much. Thanks, thank man. you.